Now a hard surface and a hammer are useful for just pressing the wick into shape. So fold a bit over. Again, being careful to go to the same point each time, I'm going just to the far side of the line because you want the sides of your wick to be nicely parallel so they won't jam in the, the channel at all. Okay, one side. Just touching edge to edge. If you overlap it, that of course means instead of it being double thickness, that little bit is triple thickness. Which may or may not go through the, the wick winder. I haven't tried it. I know this one works, so we'll stick with double layer. Hopefully we now have a wick just on half an inch wide. Now some of us blokes aren't the most proficient when it comes to sewing and tailoring sewing is quite very different to the shoemaking sewing that I normally do. This is a very basic stitch but makes a very good seam so for us guys who aren't up on it here we go. It's called a back stitch. Basically you your needle goes into the work, out through the back of it, and in through the front. Whoops, hang on. Okay. Stop with a bit of thread to spare. Now you don't really have to lock it off, particularly at start and finish, because as it burns down, it's going to go through the ends of any lock stitches anyway. Now, we'll come out here, but we're going to go back a little bit and then pop up a little bit further down the track. This doesn't have to be a work of art, it's just got to hold things in place. And so you're basically doing this circular sewing all the way down the work. Someone proficient at it would make each start and finish, reach, uh, reach the one before it, so you'd have a, a solid line of stitches looking very neat and nice, but we don't actually need to do that. Don't pull it so tight that it puckers the wick. And don't sew so close to the edge like I'm doing. I'm going to move out a, a strand that the, uh, the thread can um, pull out the edge of the of the piece of cloth here which I'm running a risk of here so I've got to move myself over a little. So basically we're just going to go down one side and then up the other. Get my tail end of the thread out of the way. And that will sew down the two sides of the wick and keep them in the same position in relation to the flat side of the wick so that when the winder pushes it up and down the whole lot moves as a unit like so and I'm going to repeat that down there and then back up the other side right, one side done across the other side. Okay, continue the same way. 